Space Shuttle mock-up at the Museum of Flight. Pretty cool. Where you go in, that hole on that side. Here's a scale of the uh, Hubble. Scale model. Tail and the uh, mock-up engines. Pretty big. Is inside the bottom of the space shuttle trainer. Ah, I saw that from the other side. That's the airlock, I guess. Yeah, that's the airlock and docking adapter. The docking adapter was vertical up above? Yeah, right. Yeah. The, middle, the middle section is the docking adapter and the airlock is the outer section. So if you were going to get ready to do a spacewalk, you'd start pre-breathing pure oxygen, right? For a couple of hours to purge all the oxygen. Yeah, there's the most bathroom. Yep. <laughs> oh, the beds? Yep, sure. Yeah, right. And then, okay. I suppose the sprinkler system you guys put in. Yeah. That's upstairs. This is the original panel configuration that we used when the shuttles first started flying. They eventually replaced this with a glass cockpit. Yeah. This is the original cockpit. So they actually fly them with a stick, not a wheel. Yep. And there's actually two major flight controls. You've got the regular stick for pitch, roll, yaw, and you also have that little handle to the left, mm -hmm. which is your uh, transitional controller. So the uh, forward, backwards, up, down, left, and right. Okay. Is that normally blocked there? Is that an access yep. or? Yeah, that's normally blocked. Huh. So you really have some limited visibility when you land. Yeah. It's not bad when you're in the seats. It's, you see what you need to see. Let me see. That's what flight engineer or I don't uh, know. actually video and lights and stuff like that are controlled there. Careful on the floor. Yeah. This panel right here to my left is used to fly the shuttle for docking operations. Mm -hmm. Okay, so again you have the same two flight controls. Oh, you have okay. an attitude indicator, range and rate right up in here. Um, this panel is used to control the robot arm. And again, the robot arm flies just like the shuttle does. Okay, you have the stick and you have the transitional controller. So it does that stay stick. where it is or does it move? It, well, you can see the arm out. Of no, the, the arm. Way. I mean the uh, the where you the yoke. That stays where it is. Oh, okay. That, that seems kind of weird because it's under those monitors. So I guess those are the TVs for the yeah. These are end of up, it and uh, yeah. These are hooked up to cameras that are actually attach to the robot arm, so you can actually get a closer view of what was going on here. And normally for flight, we would have two extra seats set up in here, so you'd have four astronauts flying up top. And that's the docking that's mechanism. That's the docking adapter. That's right. Wow. So you actually can look right at it when you're flying yeah, that's to what, it, I guess. That, that's not that's so much the look, camera. Yeah. yeah, that's why this station is located here, so you have good line of sight to what you're working with. Wow, that is all pretty amazing. Right there. The payload bay is this long tubular. This, this, okay. is, the, this is the payload bay. Think of it as three components. You've got living, living quarters. It's the arm. Front. Payload bay in the center. And these are the So the living components from up here to the top of the cockpit. That's cockpit up ahead. Pale.
<laughs> I know you're excited. <laughs> he loves it. Yeah, who doesn't? Everybody wants to be in this. Oh, it's very awesome. <laughs> yeah. Just the arm. Pivots on that. Huh? This where it docks with the uh, space station. That's looking back in where we were earlier. The airlock. That's the view up above out of the uh, 